so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model that kind of gaming asset in blender and we'll use the uh, reference image for creating this asset and uh, here you can see we have that reference image basically if i'm going to slide this window from here to here so here you can see we have that reference image so this is the reference image and this is the final model okay and if you guys want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description and you will also get this uh, reference image along with this file so don't worry about it so you, okay so you can easily see the uh, flow of the mesh okay and we'll also talk about some modeling trick in this video means how we can create that kind of typical modeling and how we can create these kind of cracks also okay so now let's start a tutorial and we'll use some modifier to creating that kind of uh, a round shape effect okay so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i just want to open a new file basically i'm going to don't save this file so here we have a new project file so first of all i'm just going to rid of this cube pressing the delete then i'm just going to pressing the n and going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the right hand side and after that i'm just going to my front view and from here i'm just going to import our reference images so here i'm just going to import my reference image as a background so here you can see i'm just going to locate it from here element and this is our reference image basically okay so here we have a reference image and why i import as a background because when i'm just going to uh, rotate and when i'm just going to orbit this window something like that so we can't see our reference image and we can see only our product so which is uh, give a better view to see our model in a detail that's why i use the as a background image basically so first of all i just want to lock this image so i'm just going to enable this from here and going to click it so now it's not going to move anywhere from here okay so then after that i'm just going to add one plane here okay so we'll create this part first of all so for that i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a then i'm just going to my plane properties from here i'm just going to change align as a view so we can see easily our plane is facing uh, towards us and then i'm just going to enable my x-ray view so we can easily uh, see through behind our plane as well so i'm just going to align this plane here basically okay and i'm just going to edit mode of this plane then i'm just going to add one cut in between here okay and make sure that loop cut is should be aligned according to our this part basically so right now it's looking quite aligned i'm just going to little move here and now it's perfectly aligned here here you can see yeah so that's look fine okay and after that i'm just going to add one more loop cut here okay then i'm just going to delete the this part first of all going to delete it and i'm just going to delete this part as well going to delete it okay then we'll use the a mirror modifier from here okay and then i'm just going to enable our clipping from the here first of all then i'm just going to duplicate this mirror from here and then, so then i'm just going to change the axis as a y axis yeah and that's look great by the way here you are thinking what is the benefit uh, using the double mirror modifier basically so we have to just uh, work only this part and rest of part will create automatically because everything is look quite similar uh, all over the side that's why i'm just using the uh, that uh, double mirror okay so here you can see first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to align this mesh according to our shape here so here you can see it's quite uh, matching okay so we should i think move little bit downside here yeah now it's perfectly match and it's okay if we're not matching to the little bottom side okay doesn't matter it then i'm just going to add some loop cut here i'm just going to add some loop cut uh, here i think four is fine to me and i'm just going to align these loop cut according to our shape so here you can see it's going to automatically create from the everywhere Okay, then I'm just going to align it very quickly. Yeah, so here you can see, guys, we have a basic shape here, and we have aligned our uh, meshes according to our shape, and that's look great. So we have to just work only the one fourth part of this asset, and uh, rest of the part will create automatically. And don't worry about it if not going to match with the uh, proper our assets. Okay, doesn't matter it. Okay, then after that, what we will do, we'll just create this part basically. So for creating this part, I will just use the our knife tool from here. And I'm just going to uh, cut this 
mesh according to this line basically here you can see and then I'm just going to hit the enter so here you can see that's look nice basically yeah that's look perfectly and after that I'm just going to extrude it so I'm just going to select my all mesh pressing the A then I'm just going to press the 3 for the face mode then I'm just going to extrude it pressing the E and that much extrusion is fine to me yeah that's look fine and after that I'm just going to select these edges basically side edges and then I'm just going to scale it from here something like that we should scale a little more yeah so here you can see guys our basic shape is ready and that's look great we have a that sharp as also and which look nice basically yeah so here you can see our top part is done okay so now we'll just create this handle part so for creating this handle part we'll just use the a uh, cylinder okay and then i'm just going to scale this cylinder and going to keep it here and try to uh, align according to our shape something like that yeah and then i'm just going to move it here okay little scale i think and then i'm just going to select all these vertices going to extrude it on a z axis and keep it here then i'm just going to extrude one more time and keep it here and after that we'll just going to extrude it here and we'll just align according to our shape something like that then I'm just going to extrude it and keep it here then I'm just going to extrude once more time keep it here Then I'm just going to extrude it and keep it here and then I'm just going to extrude it and that time I'm just going to keep it here and we'll extrude one more time and keep it here okay so that's look great by the way and we'll just create a one edge loop in between here because here we need to extrude this part basically yeah so that's look great and we'll just select this part and going to scale it something like that and here you can see we have uh, this perfect part here so first of all i'm just going to align this according to our shape basically blade shape so i think yeah that's look great it's going to align perfectly here okay then after that i'm just going to my front view and from here i'm just going to enable my x-ray view then i'm just going to extrude these part which is we can see here so first of all i'm just going to select my face mode pressing the three then i'm just going to select this part and go okay so i'm just going to press the alt e and going to extrude along the normals so i'm just going to extrude it something like that and we'll extrude this part as well pressing select these faces then i'm just going to extrude it something like that then we'll just extrude this part as well going to alt e extrude it something like that and after that we'll extrude this part as well alt e then i'm just going to extrude it and keep it here and after that we'll just select this part and going to extrude one more time extrude along the normal something like that so we have that middle part as well and that is very cool trick basically first you have to just create a basic shape and then you have to just extrude according to your uh, shape requirement and you don't need to uh, create a lot mesh for this okay you just create a basic mesh and here you can see we have a perfect shape here if i'm just going to turn off my x-ray view so here you can see we have a perfect shape here and that's look great by the way and i think we should little scale this part because it's looking little thick and then i'm just going to keep it here and now that's look great okay then i'm just going to apply the scale first of all and after that i'm just going to enable my x-ray view then i'm just going to make this part so for making this part i'm just going to select the bottom face basically and going to little scale something like that then i'm just going to my front view and from here i'm just going to extrude it i think we should little scale down then we should uh, extrude it that's great so first one i'm just going to extrude it going to little scale it then i'm just going to extrude again going to little scale extrude it scale it so we have to just repeat this process again and again and again and till we not get the r shape basically yeah so that's look fine basically here you can see so now we have a that bottom shape as well and that's look great here you can see we have a perfect blending here that's look great and after that i am just going to uh, 
make uh, this part basically so for that I'm just going to hide these these things I'm just going to press the edge going to hide and I'm just going to hide this handle as well because we have to create this thing basically so for create this thing I will just use one plane here pressing the shift a then I'm just going to change view as a align align as a view sorry okay then I'm just going to keep it here basically and uh, after that I'm just going to edit mode of this plane then I'm just going to select my knife tool from here I'm just going to trace this shape from here okay you don't need to do very precisely you have to just select it very randomly okay it shouldn't be perfect because we can manage this shape after that and something like that and I'm just going to move it here to here and then we'll just click the enter so we have a that shape here basically so first one I'm just going to straight this part little yeah that's look fine and after that you have to just select this part basically and then you have to just press the control i inverse the selection and you have to delete the rest of the mesh so you have a that shape here basically and that's look weird right now i know that but don't worry about it so first of all you have to just maintain this shape according to our shape so i'm just going to little maintain this shape so it should be look little curvy curvy basically yeah i think that's look fine okay so after that we'll use the same trick which is we have used for making this blade part basically so i'm just going to use the same trick we'll just add the mirror modifier on it and here you can see we have a little gap in between our uh, uh, mirror so how we can rid of this problem basically so first of all you have to go to the edit mode of this uh, mesh then you have to press the shift s and from here you have to just select this cursor to select it okay so cursor will be uh, appear here then you have to just exit the edit mode and then you have to just uh, do right click and here you have to just set origin as a 3d cursor so it will automatically uh, fill this shape in between it and then you have to just enable this clipping part okay then after that i'm just going to duplicate this pressing the duplicate then i'm just going to change this x as a y so here you can see we have a perfect shape here and that's look great and after that i'm just going to apply this basically we don't need this just going to apply both of mirror then i'm just going to select the all side edges from here and then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e then i'm just going to scale it and here you can see we have a perfect match here okay and that's look great so then i'm just going to extrude it selecting the all mesh pressing the a then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e so that much extrusion is fine to me after that i'm just going to select these faces basically and then i'm just going to extrude it outside something like that for creating little depth and i think that's look fine and after that i'm just going to add the bevel on it so it will look like this so we have to just decrease the bevel amount i'm just going to add one zero in between here so here we have a perfect bevel and i'm just going to add this shade smooth and that's look fine basically you can add the subdivision surface modifier as well if you want to a more smooth and if you want these edges little smoother as well okay so that shape is also looking cool and here you can see we have to just move this shape here to here and i think we should decrease little width of this part then i'm just going to apply the scale and keep it here so we have a that shape as well and uh, our overall model is ready we have to just make uh, this part basically so for making this part we have to uh, add uh, again one plane then we have to just change the align as a view then we have to just move this plane here to here and then i'm just going to scale this uh, plane according to our shape so i think that's look fine then i'm just going to my edit mode of this plane then i'm just going to select my knife tool again and going to cut this shape according to our requirement I'm just going to select this shape then press the enter and same thing I will do with this part select enter and select and enter okay then we'll just select these shapes which is we have selected then I will just press the control I for the inverse selection and going to delete the unwanted mesh so here we have only that shape here which is we want basically I'm just going to move it here to here yeah that's look fine okay and after that i'm just going to add one modifier it's called uh, shrink wrap modifier then i'm just going to select our target object from here to here okay so it's going to wrap according to this surface so i think that's look fine 
we can increase and decrease the offset as well but i think uh, that much offset is look fine to me okay so first of all i'm just going to edit mode of this part then i'm just going to select the side as is then i'm just going to extrude it once pressing the y axis then i'm just going to extrude repeat this command something like that okay so i think we should add little mesh here so it will create a little smoothness here i think that much is look fine to me and here you can see yeah that's look fine to me okay so after that i'm just going to apply the this shrink wrap modifier then i'm just going to add one more modifier it's called mirror modifier then i'm just going to change the axis as a z axis so right now it's looking something like that so that's we don't want basically we have to okay so we have to just change the origin point so first of all i'm just going to edit mode of this part then i'm just going to select this part this vertices basically then i'm just going to set the then i'm just going to set the arc cursor to the selected object and then i'm just going to change the set origin as a 3d cursor so that mirror will work automatically very nicely and then i'm just going to enable our clipping okay so after that i'm just going to add one more modifier it's called solidify and then i'm just going to increase the thickness and we should just change the shape as a complex and change as a even okay so i think we should add little mesh here just going to increase it and same thing i will just going to increase it three same thing we'll add here and same thing we'll add here as well yeah and that's look fine by the way okay and after that we have to just add the bevel into this option and then we have to just add the shade smooth as well so here you can see guys we have a little uh, clipping problem here so what we have to do exactly so you have to just increase this merge value from here so now it's going to merge it and that's look great okay and then we have to just uh, mirror this part as well i'm just going to add the mirror modifier on into this part then i'm just going to change the as a z axis and uh, after that i'm just going to change the 3d cursor as a selected object then i'm just going to change this as a 3d cursor so it will going to automatically mirror from here and that's look great okay and if i'm just going to split this window from here then i'm just going to my image editor and if i'm just showing you this image so here you can see we have a, some um sharp edges here and which is we can't see here basically so for that what do you have to do exactly you have to just uh, select your handle part then you have to hide everything apart from that and then you have to just select so you have to just select these middle part so i'm just going to select these part these part and these part basically this part as well okay and then i'm just going to press the p for the separate so now we have a uh, this thing is a separate basically here you can see if i'm just going to hide everything apart from this then i'm just going to my top view so i'm just going to delete some vertices from this uh, cylinder so for that i'm just going to select these two vertices then i'm just going to left one vertex in between here then i'm just going to select these two again i will do same thing and i will just repeat this process so here you can see we have selected the all vertices then i'm just going to select the uh, two then i'm just going to press the dissolve vertices and here you can see we have a uh, that kind of edgy effect and that's look fine to me basically so here you can see guys that look something like that and after that i'm just going to unhide everything pressing the alt edge and here you can see in the middle we have a uh, that kind of uh, low poly effect here and uh, from here we have uh, some good uh, smoothness here which is we can see on our reference that's look fine basically and after that you have to just add some smoothness into our object so from here you have to just enable your auto smooth and you have to just decrease from here so yeah i think that's look fine and you have to just add the smoothness into our this object as well auto smooth so here you can see that's look fine basically and uh, and after that we'll just create these crack basically so for creating these crack what we have to do basically so for that i'm just going to uh, enable our x-ray view then i'm just going to here so first of all i'm just going to uh, apply the all um, mirror modifier from our blade part and then i'm just going to edit mode of this object then i'm just going to select this part basically here you can see i'm just going to select this part middle part and then i'm just going to bevel it pressing the control b something like that then i'm just going to add one as loop in between here then i'm just going to select this part 
this middle edge and going to pull it inside so here you can see we have a that kind of perfect shape here and and same thing we'll do with this side as as well i'm just going to edit mode of this part then i'm just going to select this thing and going to bevel it and then i'm just going to move this thing inside and same something like that so here you can see we have a that kind of uh, crack effect as well so here you can see guys our modeling part is almost done and that's look fine and in the part two we'll just talk about how we can add the shader into our object and how we can create that kind of shader as well we'll just talk about so make sure you watch the second part also and uh, thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys